Uh, my name is Grant Worley, representative uh, representing Naperville in Warrenville. Uh, Speaker Michael J. Madigan needs to step forward and testify. He can choose to do so voluntarily, or we believe subpoenas should be issued as outlined by Representative Mazaki. Just yesterday, Governor J.B. Pritzker once again reiterated his calls, quoting, the Speaker has a lot to answer for, and that he strongly urges Speaker Michael J. Madigan, Madigan to step forward and testify. Um, in the letter dated, or actually not dated from Speaker Madigan, but received on September 25th, he states, quote, I have done nothing wrong, end quote. Speaker Madigan, if that is correct, then what is the harm in stepping forward in removing this cloud of darkness over our state capitol? If you truly have nothing to hide, come forward and clear this all up. We heard through the testimony of Commonwealth Edison, uh, in the de deferred prosecution agreement, statements of facts. These are admitted facts. These are not allegations. These are not charges. These are admitted facts. In that document, the speaker is mentioned dozens and dozens of times. He needs to step forward voluntarily or via subpoena and clear his name. We also heard on Thursday in the, in the courtroom uh, at the Federal Dirksen building, the first uh, guilty plea in this ongoing massive federal investigation. Fidel Marquez pled guilty to conspiracy to commit bribery. In that guilty plea, public official A, Speaker Michael J. Madigan is mentioned 31 times. Once again, raising even more questions that we all have. If he's done nothing wrong, the speaker needs to come forward and answer these questions. These are questions that the governor has, that we all have, that Democrats, that ask for his resignation have, that Democrats that have said, if true, he must step aside. These are questions that ratepayers of Commonwealth Edison have. They are the ones that in the end will be on the hook for financial damages here. We all need answers to these questions. Subpoena, if that's the way we have to go, needs to, needs to get done. Either voluntarily or via subpoena, Michael J. Madigan and others need to step forward and do what is right for the residents of the state of Illinois and answer the questions that we all have. 